previously on Minecraft Story Mode. If these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer. That's not what I was expecting. See, this is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs, guideposts. You can call me Harper. Your bravery is an impressive quality. I look forward to studying that aspect of your personality. Once you have been made useful. We'll see about that. No. What is that? This is the Redstone Heart. Beautiful. It can help you find your way home. How is this gonna do that? The answers you're seeking, the old builder's atlas, your way home, they're all right up those stairs. Adventure? Wow, that, that's a lot of stairs. And all revealed by the Redstone Heart. Amazing. Yeah, not bad, right? After you. Okay, guys. Not sure what's up there, but whatever it is, we all need to stick together. Got it? Yeah. We've got your back, Jesse. Ah, feels like just yesterday we were building this place. Still don't agree with some of the aesthetic choices. Wait, you're from here? Uh-huh. What's the big deal? It's a big deal because we've been in the old builder's world this whole time. And you didn't tell us. There was never a natural time to bring it up. Kind of thought I'd never need to come back to tell you the truth. Oh, I'm sensing a story here. I guess you could say that. You don't sound super happy about being back. What's up? Yeah, I think you'll figure it out once you meet the others. Others? You mean we're going to meet more old builders? Still don't like it when you call us that. Yep, but I gotta warn you, they're not as friendly as I am. I'm probably the, uh, nicest old builder. Uh-huh. Old builder social politics. My goodness. Hey, I'm just glad you're on our side. Old builder or not, you've been pretty cool. Well, thank you, Jesse. I hope I can keep living up to that. Well, you're gonna give us the Atlas and then we can go home, right? Kind of. The Atlas isn't exactly mine to give. It belongs to the other, uh, old builders. And, well, they might not want to give it up. Why do I get the feeling there's a lot you're not telling us? Good instincts? I'm sure we can figure something out. Make a deal with them, right? Oh yeah, they love making deals. You'll see when you get there. Jesse, come here. Are you sure we can trust Harper? Look at all of our interactions with her so far. They haven't exactly been great, remember? Yeah, I am. She saved our lives, Lucas. Only after she put them in danger. If I remember correctly, we saved her just about as much as she saved us. Don't worry, okay? We're going to get that atlas and get home. I appreciate the vote of confidence, Jesse. Sorry, I just couldn't resist a good eavesdrop. I promise I'm trying to help, Lucas. You just gotta go through there. A door? Like a regular door. Time to step through and find out. Oh. See a thing. Before you go in there, I have one more piece of advice. Don't die! What? Oh. Ah! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, come on, Nell! I'm ah. trying! Ah. Dig, dig! Faster! Go, go! I can like... Oh, oh, we can't do this! Well, what do we have here? Seems as if some new competitors have entered the match. My, isn't that special? I just, what in 
only world that Harper dump us into. Well, whatever you do, don't stand still too long. Those big, beefy dudes up there seem like they're aiming for us. Hang on. I just realized what this reminds me of. Spleef. Gesundheit? No, it's a game. You try to knock the floor out from other people and make them fall. Ah, be like this! TNT back of the gladiators. Nice one, brah. Who do you think you are? Whoa. Now, I And think... now you're just trying to be all buddy-buddy? You killed one of my best friends. I don't care about your compliments, and I'm definitely not your bra. Whoa. Hang on, dude. I am not in charge here, okay? It's them. Yes, we are the ones in charge here. And we have never had to stop a match. Ever. It definitely is strange, Mavia. What is going on here? I want an explanation. Immediately! This is going to require some reconfiguring of the stats, for sure. My friends are dead. You killed them! Wait, wait, wait. A and that's why you're ruining our games? Yeah, come on, jeez. How petty are you? Ugh. Lashing out just because your friends were eliminated. Kind of sore loser behavior, don't you think, sport? It is part of the games. Oh, I've got a game we could play. I'll go first. Are you people crazy? People are dying out here, and you're still talking about games? Oh, wow. You don't know, do you? Your friends aren't dead. Wait, what? How? When people are eliminated in the games, they don't die. <laughs> that would be wasteful. <laughs> Obviously. They come back, and then we have them go work in the mines. Jesse! <gasps> Your friends are alive and well. Let my friends go. Sorry, sport, but they were eliminated. <laughs> Them's the rules. It's called respawning, champ. We're not monsters. <clears throat> in our games, when people die, they reappear in one of our respawn zones. I hear it's still pretty painful, though. Well, Sport, now that you've come and interrupted our games, I'm sure our fans would love to know how you got here. Spill! Go, oh, why bother? They all end up in the mines. We're from another world. Yeah? You and everyone else here, Pipsqueak. You know what you are, champ? You're just a little gate crasher. And what do we do with gate crashers? Kill them and send them to the mines. Back off, muscles. Jesse's with me. Well, if it isn't Harper. I must say, this return is unexpected. You're telling me I'm here for Jesse. Oh, really? 
So tell me, Jim, why do you think Harper brought you here? My bet's on Pet. That'd be pretty cute, right? We came for the Atlas. I want you to hand it over so my friends and I can go home. Straight into the point. Well, I'd like it. If I weren't simmering with barely controlled rage right now. Hmm. We're, of course, not going to do any of those things, but admirable try. Well, that's all well and good, but I'm confused. Why would we give anything to someone like you? You weren't invited. And you interrupted Spleef. Because I have something you want. Oh? She must be joking, Hadrian. Joking! Oh, jokes! Ha <laughs> ha! Hilarious! Nope. Not joking. I doubt you'd have anything that would interest us. Oh, send them to the mines. They're cheaters. What about huh? this? I present... The Redstone Heart! Huh. Seems like only yesterday someone took off with that and vowed never to return with it. Oh, but I didn't bring it back. Jesse did. Thing's no toy, Slugger. How about you just hand it over, huh? It can be, uh, pretty dangerous if you don't know how to use it. Nuh-uh, Hadrian. You're not getting one finger on this thing until you hand over my friend. I'm not a big fan of haggling, Jesse. Here's the way my offer works. You give me the heart, you and your friends go back down to those portals. I never look at your insignificant face again. Wait, without the Atlas? But how will we get home? So, not my problem. This is a one-time offer. That's your idea of an offer. Seriously. That's terrible. Terrible? I'll tell you what's terrible. Hadrian. Well, I do admit the kid is not afraid of playing a little hardball. Even I think that's admirable. Well, you need the Atlas. And I need competitors. After your unexpected intrusion, I seem to be short a team. So how about this? You play in the games. If you win, the Atlas is yours to keep. It's a good deal, Jesse. Trust me. Everyone enjoys these games. I still don't trust you. Don't you worry, Jesse. Once a rule is written into the bylaws, we make sure it's enforced. Isn't that right, Hadrian? Oh, yeah. Otto is a real stickler for the rules. Hmm. All right, then. I suppose we can carry forward with the official oh, Otto, enough. Add it on your own time. Oh, but there's one other thing I want. If they lose, Harper has to go to the mines, too. Oh, gravel. Harper, want to be a friend and show our new competitors to where they'll be staying? Sure thing. Jesse, this was not part of the plan. Wrapped up in one of Hadrian's deals. Ugh! He's not one to let other people get the upper hand, you know. Harper, how bad is this gonna be? Give it to me straight. It's not gonna be a cakewalk, that's for sure. Hadrian has people play the games now just for his own amusement. Yeah, he seemed like a real treat. Ugh. I'm, s I'm sorry, okay? I really am. Let me show you where the competitor village is. We used to have competitors from all over travel here to play in the games. At least until the others ruined it. What happened? Hadrian and Mevia let power go to their heads. They started pitting people against each other, just for sport. Forcing people to be here. It isn't right. Come on, I'll show you where you'll be staying. Well, here it is, the competitor village, sort of a home away from home for all the people playing the games. Wait, are all of these people competitors? Yep, at least the ones who aren't stuck working in the quartz mines. Those poor souls are just waiting for their next shot. Mining is tough work. I feel bad for the people that are too scared or weak to play in the games. Wow. 
That's just horrible. I know. They didn't make a deal like you did, Jesse. They're stuck here till they win the games. And what if they lose? Hadrian sends them to toil in the mines. If they're lucky, they'll get another shot at the games. But it might take a while. I'm gonna go confer with Otto. We go way back and, well, he's usually the most reasonable of the three. Wait, we still haven't found Lucas or Ivor. Ugh, I'm thinking that Hadrian must have sent them through the portal to the mines. Which is technically against the rules. No one's supposed to go there until their whole team is eliminated. Well then, we're just gonna have to get them out. See what you can do here. I'm gonna try and find Otto. I've got confidence in you, Jesse. You might just get out of this. We gotta get our friends out of the mines, quick. I'll go ask some of the other competitors. Hey, you are that crazy person in extreme spleef. Decent. Not as good as Tim, but decent. That's more than I can say for most. But not even a third of what Tim was. Everybody loves Tim around here. Uh, yeah, and justifiably so. He literally saved his entire team. And in style. His armor didn't even get dirty. He's a real Tim-spiration. Yeah, it's true. He could do the Tim Possible. Here's the secret. We're all just trying to be like Tim. He's perfect. Okay, I'll leave you to it then. Impressive. <laughs> hey, that's Lucas's journal. You say something, Tiny? Because I'm trying to read here. Hey, where'd you get that book you're reading? Oh, this? This shit out some respawns inventory after he... It's got some tales of adventure, feelings, and other dumb stuff. Hey, wait a minute. You're the pipsqueak that knocked me out of my tower. Yeah, and this belonged to that little blonde buddy of yours. Let me guess. You want this back? Cause I'm actually enjoying myself. There are some fascinating and thrilling tales in here. Hey, don't get too steamed. Maybe we can make a deal. And slam the immovable! Oh, we can make a deal. If you do everything I say, when I say it, and don't make me mad again, maybe I'll consider giving you this stupid book back. Hmm. That armor is pretty sweet. Not as sweet as mine, of course. <clears throat> Excuse me. Psh, wow, rude. before I see if I can attach this sign to your head. It's so nice when new contestants are in the village. It's lovely having fresh meat for us gladiators to destroy. What exactly do you do here? Well, when I'm not in the arena of being a great gladiator, I hand out the daily food rations and guard the food so no one tries to sneak any. Yeesh. Why is everyone so cranky around here? Could be that we're forced into an endless cycle of destruction. Just a guess, though. Have you happened to see my friends? You know, the ones that got eliminated in Spleef? No, but if I do, I will make them wish for elimination again. Fine. I'm out of here. Bye-bye! Can't wait to kill you again! Ooh, 
Shovel planet. Nice. Wow, they look focused. They must really want to win this thing. Like amazing. I'm now, and I am so super sorry about your friend. I get your prods upset, especially since you had no idea what was going on. <laughs> Speaking of my friends, have you seen them lately? Nope, sorry. They're like probably in the mines, and that's on me. Such bad karma. Bad karma. I will never do that to one of your friends again because man I do not want to be on your bad side I gotta say you keep playing like that and you'll be like Tim status Tim like one like you could people are like already talking about it they're gonna like say stuff compare you to Tim I'm not here to be a Tim I just want to get home but that's like exactly what makes you Tim status. Tim didn't want to be Tim either. He got his whole team home. Listen, I still feel super bad about taking out your friend. I owe you. So if you ever need anything, you just come and ask, shall? <clears throat> Hey. You're the one that eliminated the one decent member of my team. I'll barely be able to get through to the next round. I mean, I know I'm good at this, but I'm not that good. Then I guess we're even. Oh, no way we're even. You still have a good teammate left. And you still have all your fancy gear. I'm stuck with two blockheads now. Next round. If I don't get you, one of the gladiators will. <sighs> you haven't been here long, so you wouldn't know. Good luck, Em. I know that the best person will win. Seriously? You know you're looking at the best person. I feel kind of bad for you. Most of us got snatched against our wills, but you got tricked into coming willingly. That old builder should have told you these games were impossible. Have you ever won the games? Yeah, I won, but I decided to give up the prize of going home to stay in this awesome place longer. Of course I haven't won. Yeah, well, good luck with getting home. Wooden planks. Solid. Yo, Jesse, what can I help you with? Oh, hey, know where the nether portal is? Yeah, it's right over that way. <laughs> um, hello. Don't you hello, face meat. Wait a minute, you're the cheater that blew up my friend, Slab. And face meat doesn't look cheaters. Don't stand around breathing up all of Face Meat's air. Face Meat prefers dweeb free air. Hey, what do you even do around here? Face Meat cracks skulls and thinks about cracking more skulls. When Face Meat has time, that is. Do you know where my friends are? In the mines. Duh. And they're not going anywhere. Not on Face Meat's watch. That doesn't mean just stand there. Staring at Face Meat. Please, what can I do to get them out? Well, now that you mention it, Facemeat was busy slamming mad raps at the gym and missed lunchtime. You see? So Facemeat's hungry. Do something about that, and Facemeat will think about getting your friends out. Hmm. 
Oh, it's you again! The one I wanted to make suffer! Hey, leave before I ruin you. Would it be possible for me to, uh, have some of that bread? It's for that guy over there. Seriously? I'm not falling for that. No bread until lunchtime. Get out of here before I make you into a meal. Does anyone have any food I can borrow? Or, well, have? Guess I should ask around. Hey, Jesse. Finding your way around all right? Yeah, starting to. Nice. You know, this place would actually be a blast if it weren't for the whole against their will thing. I mean, Spleef was awesome, but a little bit of the fun gets taken away when you're forced to do something. No way. With the old builders controlling everything, this place stinks. Yeah, I guess. Let's keep trying to find Ivor and Lucas. Agreed. You a big fan of Tim? <laughs> Forget I asked. Wow, everyone seems to love this Tim guy. Here lies the platform on which Tim stood to win these great games. Hope I'll be standing there soon. What can I help you with? No, I mean, seriously. I mean, anything at all. Like, I want to help out people. Well, actually, do you have any extra food? Well, um, if I had some wheat, I would totally give you some. Sadly, I don't have a secret stash. And if you didn't ask, I wouldn't loan you some. Wink. Come on, uh, quick before anybody sees us. Go ahead, that should be enough for your bread. All of it? Of course, brah, it'll grow back. Just uh, leave the seeds, yeah? One. Planting as I go. And that's another. <laughs> Sweet. And that should all grow back soon. Nice. Looks like that should be enough for some epic loafage. Yeah, that means bread. Hopefully bread will be enough to get that face meat guy to help me. Righteous. They don't let us use crafting tables, though. Wait, I saw a few wood planks by the dojo. Right on. Thank you, Nell. Hey, no problem. Happy to help. Catch you later, yeah? There. That should be enough for a table. Aha! Uh -huh. That's some fine crafting. Let's make some food. Boom. Bread. Now I should be able to get my friends back. Face 
meat. Got some bread for ya. Bread, huh? <laughs> it's not cake, but face meat is starving. Mmm, it's so warm. Oh, and full of carbs. Please get my friends. <laughs> face meat appreciates the politeness. Hang on. Hey, Petra. Hey, glad to see you already figured out the whole nether portal thing. Lucas and Ivor should be right out. One of those huge guys is getting them for me. Nice, nice. It seems like we keep ending up in situations. First with Palma, now with that stupid sploof game. Well, what I'm trying to say is, thanks. You know, don't make this awkward. It was just on my mind, and I thought I should say something. I did what I had to do. Well, I appreciate it. I'm glad you're with me on this, Petra. Me too. Here! Oh! Quick response! Jesse, man, is it good to see you. You too, Lucas. And Ivor! Uh, what are you wearing? Right. Shut up! My outfit breathes wonderfully. Anyway, how's it been going out here? You, uh, you don't have our stuff by any chance, do you? He's worried about his diary! I'm working on that. It's tricky, though. Well, don't beat around the bush. What has Harper gotten us wrapped up in? Yeah, Harper is a tricky one. Don't worry. We're just in this tournament, where if we win, we get the Atlas and our ticket home. Oh. Well, that's better than I thought. But if we lose, we'll be mining for ports forever. Nope. That is not a thing I want. Hey! Jesse, I need to talk! <laughs> it's pretty bad in there, Jesse. They don't even do anything to keep the pigmen away, so they just uh, stare at you while you mine. It's been terrible! And we weren't in there that long. Lucas, we need the Atlas to get home. <sighs> I know. Apparently this guy Tim did it. That's true. He's all they talk about in the mines. Guess he won the games a long time ago and got all of his team home. They say he was three blocks tall and that he carried his entire team across the finish line. Yeah, it's super fishy. Well, you're out of those mines now. According to Harper, until our entire team is eliminated, you're allowed to stay here in the village. That's right. Your friends weren't supposed to go to the mines yet. I am sincerely sorry about that. Jesse, this is Otto, my old friend. Like I said, he may be able to help. So you're the one who's supposed to help us? Well, I'll enforce the rules at any rate. If that helps you, then... Uh... Can't be games without rules. <laughs> Harper's been filling me in about you. From the story she's told, I'm impressed. You might actually make it to the top. In fact, you're the most exciting thing to come to this place in a long time. A real wild card. Yeah, I think you might be a real Tim in the making. Yep, a real Tim. Really interesting. You being here. Great. As long as I get to go home. That is the point. But you have to win first. And my job is to make sure everybody, even Hadrian, plays by the rules. I'm rooting for you, kid. Just don't disappoint me. Can we trust him, Harper? Who knows? Otto's been doing this forever. At least he seemed interested. Anyway, dorms are over there. You got a big day tomorrow, Jesse. Ah, oh, that sounds awesome. Can't wait to just sit for a little while. And in the morning, I'm winning and getting us all out of here. I wonder what the next event will be. Hopefully nothing too deadly. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't take you seriously looking like that. It breathes wonderfully! Hello, competitors, and welcome to the next day of the games. And it's gonna be a hot one. Woo! Yes, it is, Adrian. 
And how are our teams looking, Otto? Well, Mevia, purple, green, and yellow are still making a strong showing. But after yesterday's performance in Spleef, I'm afraid to say that the red team has been completely eliminated. Oh, I guess it's back to the mines for them. <laughs> and of course, about our plucky newcomers. Otto, shut up. We don't need to hear about them. Well, for everyone else, don't forget to be like Tim out there. <laughs> Wonder how this is gonna go. These other losers don't look so tough. I can't believe how much they love this Tim guy. What's up with that? No idea. Definitely weird, though. All right, competitors, the next event is almost upon us. Time to head to the starting line. Starting line? Huh. A race! We've totally got this! <laughs> got this, huh? Boom! Oh. Surprise locker room visit! Ha! How we doing, everybody? It's Hadrian! And here are the newcomers that everyone's been talking about since their <laughs> explosive debut in Spleef. Tell me, champ, what's on your mind as you approach the next challenge? Make sure you smile when that spotlight's on you. I'm not gonna be in your twisted interview, Hadrian. Get out of my face. Oh, I'll get out of your face. But I'll be laughing at your face from my nice cushy box while I watch you burn. Oh, I promise you that. You little nothing. Listen up, bucko. These are supposed to be games. These are supposed to be fun. So play along. I sincerely hope that we understand each other. I'm through talking, Hadrian. Let's just get this over with. Oh, you are just really pushing my buttons now. Watching you burn is gonna be extra satisfying. <laughs> what a lovely day for a game. Jesse, good luck out there. I'm sure you'll be great, but, uh, well, everyone could always use a little dose of luck, right? Thanks, Em. Good luck to you, too. Of course. I saw what you could do in Spleef. Then you made that deal with Hadrian, and I thought, whew, an enemy of my enemy is my friend. Em might be up to something. So, uh, yeah. How about we work together on this? I could use an ally. And you could use my help. <sighs> Come on, Jesse. I'm trying to help you out here. Like a mutual agreement. How's that gonna work? A bigger group has a better chance of getting past the gladiators. Trust me. In the middle of the race is a part with tons of gladiators. That's when we should all team up. Defeat them. Then race to the finish. Well, what do you say? Unless you don't want the help of a former gladiator. I mean, that's okay, too. I'm sure you'll be fine. You got a deal. Good. I won't let you down. Competitors, to the starting line. Meet you at Gladiator Junction. Gladiator Junction? That sounds awesome. At least we won't have to fight her and the gladiators. I'm ready for this. Those gladiators are going down. Hint, it's gonna involve a lot of punching and kicking. Remember, there's no I in teamwork, Petra. Yeah, but there is a me, and I'm gonna kick their butts. See, I just like wanted to say it's like an honor to be working together. And I'm glad that M like totally suggested that. We can do this. Uh, yeah. I knew that you were cool from the moment we met. Competitors, on your mark. Get set. Go!
see what else they throw at us. What did we get ourselves into? And you're just getting started. Huh? Out of the way, chumps! Junction. But where are the gladiators? the fun part. I sure hope so. Come on, then. Glad she's with us, Jesse. You're mine. I've been dreaming about this since sleep. Oh, yeah, Slab? Because you seem pretty outnumbered. Just means more fun for me. We'll see about that, right, Em? Em? <laughs> Fine, squishy. What? Jesse, got your back. Go! Don't mention it.
This race is almost over, and we will soon have a winner. And I think I know who it might be. And the winner of the lava race, the gladiator formerly known as Emily. I trust you made good on our deal. I did. If that's true, then why hasn't Jesse respond yet? Jesse. And there appears to be a confrontation on the field. Bet you didn't think you'd see me here, did you? This just went from bad to worse. So you sacrificed winning the race to save someone else. Good to know. And you. You were supposed to eliminate Jesse. Our deal's off. Deal? <gasps> no, no! Please! probably think I'm scum or whatever, but you know what? I don't even care. You have your deal, Jesse. If you win, you and your friends will just leave us anyway. My shot at going home just went up in smoke. So feel free to judge all you want. Hard to hurt me any more than Hadrian did just now. No, I get it, Em. I might have even done the same thing in your position. Well, I'm glad that you get it wasn't personal, at any rate. I... I gotta go. Okay, respawning is the worst. You. Hadrian wants you. Hadrian? Why does he want to see me? You made him real mad. Come on. I don't have all day. I'm warning you, Jesse. Hadrian doesn't like to be kept waiting. And are you mad too? Mad I didn't get eliminated? No. No? Because you seem mad. Yeah, okay, fine. I'm mad that he wouldn't let me kill you a few times before I brought you upstairs. And you should know I asked. Come on. No. Just Jesse. <sighs> Hadrian doesn't allow dirty respawns in the palace. <sighs> okay. Well, be safe, Jesse. I don't trust them. Hmm. Hey, psst. I need to talk to you. Keep up. Come on. Come here. It'll be quick. Jesse, you gonna do what I say or not? Hey, Jesse. Yeah, over here. Jesse, I'm warning you. Good. You were about to get me in trouble. I don't like keeping the boss waiting. I appreciate you being considerate. My job's on the line here, too, you know. I hope Hadrian's in a good mood. I hate being sent out on dumb errands. Like this one. Hey, Slab. Do you even like this job? You know, it's got its benefits. I get to beat up people, and most people are scared of me. Which is cool. It's not bad, but the old builders aren't so great. This is how the old builders live. Totally epic, right? Sometimes I just like to stand here and... This is incredible. Such amazing use of scale and angles. Right? Knew you'd be impressed. I get to hang out here whenever I want. And thanks to you actually helping us keep on schedule, we have some extra time to enjoy the place. I'll go get Hadrian. Oh. And don't touch anything! Slab said don't touch anything. He never said don't look at everything. Huh, no portal atlas. A man forever voyaging by Sorin. Another one? Where do these keep coming from? That's a view. Hey, there's Petra and Lucas. Oops. Hey, Bat. Hey, Batsy. Whoops. I've never seen a quartz desk before.
Hey, that's that Tim guy's armor. Welcome, Jesse. Fantastic to have you here. Just fantastic. Thanks for accepting my invitation. Well, it seems appropriate that you'd gravitate toward Tim's armor. What with everyone calling you the new Tim down there. Yes, I've heard the rumors that they're calling you that, and I can definitely see why. People love an underdog story. Give it to me straight. Why did you invite me up here, Hadrian? Why, so we could continue to discuss the terms of our deal? More terms? <laughs> you can look closer, go ahead. I assume by now you've heard all about Tim. Repeatedly. Everyone loves him. And why shouldn't they? After all, he's Tim. Yeah, it seems like he really gives them hope. Even better than that, they really believe in him. Tim is an inspiration to them, even when he's not here. One could say he's an inspiration because he's not here. What do you mean? It's so much easier for a legend to stay nice and shiny when it's a fond memory. Easier to control it. I've been watching your legend grow, but I worry that with you still in the picture, it could get... messy. I've been starting to think it would be best if you made a quiet exit. You don't belong here. These games aren't for you. That doesn't sound like the deal we made. You trying to change our terms? Think of this as a shiny new deal. See, there's something you should know about the games. No one ever wins unless we want them to. Not even Tim. Let that sink in for a moment, eh? I don't believe you. Of course Tim won. Everyone knows Tim won, and you sent him home. You really believe in Tim, huh? Well, you, you think he's real. Tim gives them hope. He keeps them playing the games, but no one wins. Ever. Which is why I think it'd be in your best interest to play along. But don't you miss your friends? Your treehouse? Wait. My treehouse? The Atlas can see where people are from, you know. So I had Mebia go check it out. Turns out you're pretty famous. I was impressed. Had to bring back some things you might be interested in. <laughs> Axel? Olivia? Hey, Jesse. Jesse! Oh my gosh, I can't believe you're here. Yeah, this really scary lady showed up and knocked us out. Now we're in these smelly boxes. What's going on here? And that guy's voice is the worst. I can even hear it through the obsidian. I'm going to get you guys free, I promise. It's great to hear that you're not a prisoner, at least. Well, I kind of am, but different. Oh. I'm just glad we're all back together. Wait until I tell the others you're here. I've missed you guys so much. Wow. This is just... Wow. Such a tapestry of human trauma and emotion. And we haven't even gotten to the best part. I saved that for last. What? Oh, yes. Your best friend. Reuben. Sup? <sighs> I've heard all about him. Your best friend. Your partner in crime. Hadrian, for an old builder, you are not that bright. You know that? What? I told you, bro. Look, my name is Reuben, but the Reuben you're thinking of, he was like a little piggy. Though, seriously, dude, big fan. Olivia. So you used the Atlas to kidnap my friends and that other guy. Why? Yeah, incentive, Jesse, incentive. See, even if you win, and that's a mighty big if, they will be staying to work in the mines forever. Or until they get a shot at competing, which is still basically forever. No! Okay, so what's your deal? If you lose the next match and go work in my mines, then I'll let your friends go. All of them. You'll just have to stay behind in their place. I hear it's terrible in those mines. You're messing with the wrong girl. And her friends. Yeah, they're awesome! Just being supportive? I'm not messing with anyone. I'm just trying to maintain my games here. Okay, I had hoped that watching your sad reunion would be entertaining, but I'm done now. What do you say, sport? Your freedom for theirs, huh? 
Do you think you're worth more than all of them? Do you even really think you can win these games? Wow, tough one. That's actually kind of a good deal. Uh, yeah, except the part where Jesse would be stuck here forever. Oh, yeah, no, I take that back. It's a terrible deal. No way, Hadrian. I don't make deals with cheaters. Fine. We play it your way, which is to say I will crush you, and you won't win anyway. Slab, get this garbage out of my office. Sure thing, boss. Come on, idiot. <laughs> up there. Hadrian has Axel and Olivia. What? what? He used the Atlas to snatch them from our world. No. Are they okay? Other than Hadrian having them trapped in obsidian prisons? But he offered me a deal. He said he'll send you all home if I lose and go to the mines in your place. <gasps> I didn't take the deal. Oh. I guess that was probably the right move. Probably. What, you thought that deal sounded good? I don't trust Hadrian. No way I was gonna take any shady deal from him. You're right. You're probably right. <sighs> Jesse was smart. Hadrian never would have kept that deal. Even if you did volunteer to throw the game, he'd just send you all to the mines anyway. Probably, while claiming that was the original deal. So, who's supposed to help us then? Hadrian and Mevia are both clearly the worst. But what about the third guy? Otto? How could he help? He's always stayed out of the more lever-pulling sides of the games. He seems like a big fan of the rules. Maybe we can use that to our advantage. Huh. He loves rules, that's for sure. Always plays by him. If you won, I know he would definitely make sure you got that atlas. That was the original deal, and he's an honorable man. Harper, what about all the people that are trapped here against their will? I can win the atlas. But I'm gonna need you to get them out. You can count on me, Jesse. I'll make sure everyone is out of the mines before the next game is over. Wait, wait, wait. You really think you can free everyone in this place and win the games? Yeah. Good luck with that last part. Do you really think you can just beat all the other teams by yourself? That is a pretty tall order. Even for you, Jesse. The old builders expect us all to fight each other. I don't intend to give them the satisfaction. You're what? Gonna convince everyone to work together? Oh, yeah. Whoa. Looks like we've got a little bit of an audience here. I think that's your cue to do your thing. Builders make you all compete in the games. Event after event after event. They build up hope, but they're still controlling everything. They'll never really let anyone win unless we work together. Hadrian keeps twisting and changing the rules. I say it's our time to change the rules on them. What's the point? Hadrian will still have all the power. There's no way he's gonna let us just take that from him. He'll just make up some new rule. Hadrian's not fully in control. Winning is possible, Em. Don't you want to win? I do. More than anything. But nobody beats Hadrian at his own games. Nobody. Hey! Tim did! <laughs> That's the only thing keeping me going in here. Actually, Tim's not real. <gasps> That's... <gasps> no way. Of course Tim's real. Look at the banners. Are you sure? Yeah. Hadrian told me. I knew it. All of that stuff about him seems so implausible. So wait, Tim's made up. They just invented him. What a highly elaborate fabrication. Of course he is. It's all a part of how the old builders keep their control over everyone. That's awful. Seriously. But we can beat them. The old builders already controlled everything else. Of course they control the games. Why should I even try anymore? 
sitting in their stupid tower, pulling all the levers. Hey, the old builders don't know that we know. We have surprise on our side. Surprise, awesome. That'll be a ton of help when a gladiator's running at me with an enchanted sword. Yeah, I mean, like, your plan to take down the old builders sounds cool and all, but, um, those gladiators are, like, super tough. <laughs> like, max-level scariness, okay? Boo! Oh, no, no, I mean, totally OP. It's true. Any one of those gladiators could probably beat any of us to a pulp one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, where's Jesse going with this? But there's no way they'd be able to do that if we all tried to fight them at once. Oh, I get it now. If we work together as a team. Okay, now just bring it home, Jesse. You can do it! Doing awesome. Those old builders think that they're the greatest thing since chiseled quartz. But we will show them that that is not true! Right now, Hadrian is up in that tower, plotting how he's going to beat us all. But what he doesn't know is that his plans are doomed from the start! Because they are going down! Yeah! Not real? I can't believe it! Look, it was a nice speech. But strength doesn't come from speeches. Actions speak louder than words. Can't expect you to just talk your way through this, Jesse. My strength comes from my friends. We're always there for each other. It's true. Jesse never even gave up on me. And I used to be a bad guy. Maybe. Man, some crowd. Think they got through to him? Wait, so who are we fighting then? <sighs> Reaction definitely seemed mixed. Yeah, no kidding. It had to. Or else we're in big trouble. Yeah. That last game is all or nothing. Well, I guess we'll find out for sure in the morning. Ah. <sighs> to be here today, kicking off another wonderful day of the game! That's right, Adrian, and not just any day, but the final day of the game! Are our competitors ready for the final challenge? The it's walls! the walls! So, scared? Because it's okay if you are. No one will judge you for it. Can I be honest with you? I am a little scared. I'm worried that... <laughs> <Something special>. Scared. <laughs> I guess that's what I get for being honest. Bevia, for those unfamiliar with the walls, you want to walk us through how it's played? Sure thing, Hadrian. Teams start out separated in their own sections, divided by the high inner walls. Each team has a short amount of time to gather materials, build defenses, and craft in their section before the walls come down. <gasps> Wait, I only see dirt and gravel in my section. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that gonna be a problem? The sections are drawn at random. Whatever. I'll make it work. I'm that awesome. Oh, can't wait. Once the walls are down, it's every team for themselves. But is surviving the walls the end, Mevia? No, it is not, Hadrian. Whichever team survives the free-for-all needs to step onto the winner's platform in the center of the arena. Winner takes all! But let's not get ahead of ourselves, because that's only if the would-be winners can defeat... Oh. Gladiator! <laughs> that's right! So all competitors better get to gathering materials, because that clock is ticking! Dark. Well, hopefully it's not all dirt and gravel. Oh, choices are funny, aren't they, Mevia? What do you mean, Hadrian? Some choices take you places. Nope, just dirt. Others get you Come on. by the dirt and gravel in your section. Ah. <laughs> oh, it's yep, true. It's just true. dirt. If I didn't convince people to join up with that speech, I'm going to need something to work with. Gravel? That's worse than dirt. At least they
they gave me a crafting table. Now, if only I actually had anything to craft with. Hey. <laughs> Seems like they're happy you didn't get anything. <laughs> I think they're making fun of you. But just my, you know, professional opinion. There's a gladiator. Who's heard this a lot? <laughs> oh, you think? Well, yeah, I do, actually. Rhetorical question. Oh, do you know what time it is? Ask me what time it is, Mavia. What time is it, Hadrian? It's time for the walls to come down. Uh, this should be interesting. There. The competitors are like wild ocelots, sizing each other up, unmoving, before they go in for the kill. Looks like the gladiator formerly known as Emily is preparing her attack. And Jesse, the newcomer, is just painfully unarmed and unprotected. Jesse. This could get ugly. Okay. Do whatever it is you think you have to do. Whatever you say. Jesse isn't even trying to defend herself. Here it comes! The finishing blow! What? <gasps> Thought I'd try giving that friends thing a shot. It appears Emily has opted to Em, you are all right in my book. Well, the feeling's and mutual. The but don't let it go to your head, or I'll soon. knock it off its shoulders. Noted. What is Em doing? Why is she doing that? I have no idea! Come on! Over here! Yeah! Why aren't you all killing each other? Tja, man, I can totally see why you'd be confused. If I were you guys, I would put down your weapons. Yeah, but then we'd have nothing to defend ourselves if you attacked us. <gasps> kind of the point. Don't you see? None of us are the enemy. It's them. They're the enemies. They're behind everything. Oh, my head hurts. Too many perspectives. And it appears that the gladiators are being idiots right now. Idiots! When what they should be doing is eliminating just... Hey, Adrian! Shut your cake hole! Oh, imbeciles! Lab? Lab! What should we do? Uh, uh, uh... I'm sure that the slaughter will commence soon. Right? You should be on our side. Join us! I don't know. Facemate finds that idea... weird. Not going with them, Slab? In my life, I've done some things I'm not proud of. But I won't work for bosses who use people or manipulate them. That's inconsiderate. But you, when I was mean to you, pushed you around and made you go to the tower with me? You got that I was just doing my job and came anyway so we could be on time. That was real considerate. I will join you, Tiny Jesse. I think it's time for us to finish this. Together. It appears all the competitors are headed towards the victory platform. As stated in our rules, anyone who is not eliminated may step on the victory platform and win the game. It looks like they are going to do this together. Right behind you, fearless leader. A two slab. You'll pay for that. That won't happen. It can't happen. No, no! And they've done it. The competitors have all stepped onto the platform together, which, by the Builder Game bylaws, means they are <laughs> Which I'm sure my colleague means to say we are going to find some way to disqualify them. No, we are not. They all win. Uh, no! Mavia, Otto, with me. We're ending this. So help me, none of you will leave this place until you eliminate each other. 
Not happening. Oh, would you cut it out with the cheating and bending the rules already? I heard Mevia. The game ends when someone steps on the winner's platform. Boom. Jesse's got a point. This isn't up to you. We control the games. We decide their outcome. Mevia. Shut up, Otto. This runt needs to pay for ruining our fun. So you admit the games are rigged then? <laughs> sure. Okay, sure, fine, whatever. Mevia, Jesse won these games fair and square. She's earned the Atlas. Otto, I would think very carefully about what you're doing. I have. Jesse, with the power vested in me as an officiator of the Builder Games, I am proud to pay. What are you doing? Now it's been fun, really. But I think it's about time we end this. Whoa, this is majorly bogus, dudes. Surrender the Redstone Heart, now, now, because, uh, I will trap you here, forever. If you want it, come and get it. Your wish is my command, buckaroo. Oh, this is useless. Well, well. Just when you thought, M. Are you with us or not, M? Tisk tisk. Seems like classic Emily. She's always been a touchy one. I'm still with you, Jesse. Thank you. You're gonna need all the help you could get, Jesse. Time to take what is mine. Uh, I'll admit you're quick sport, but not quick enough for my axe. Uh, what the? Don't forget my axe, Hadrian. <laughs> No! Lab! It was an honor to fight the sun. Lab! Gotta admit, kid, you've shown you got skills. But you're still no match for me. We'll see about that! I got this, Hadrian! Ah! Had enough, Hadrian? Wait, wait! You're right! You've gone too far! It was just supposed to be a game! You expect me to believe that? Come on, sport. Haven't you ever had anything get away from you before? I mean, can't you... forgive me? <laughs> oh. This game... is no! over! And that's our game, sports fans! The Redstone Heart has been returned to its proper owners! I... I lost? Hey, fancy meeting you here. You know, I've sent hundreds of competitors to these respawn pits. Never knew it hurt so much. Sorry, that's probably not helping your mood right now. It's over. I... No, I don't think so. It's us! Yeah! I am so happy to see you guys! I know you said you were done helping me, but I hope you can give me another chance. You know, cuz I'm awesome. And we both need to get out of this. I knew you'd be back. Thanks for not doubting me. But I lost my inventory when I respawned. How am I supposed to get the Atlas back without any weapons or armor or anything? Well, we may have made a little stop in Hadrian's inventory room and helped ourselves to a few things. Awesome. Here, buddy. Wow. Take this. Thanks. Hey, overalls. Over here. Tim's armor. Belongs to you now. Time to kick some old builder butt. Now to pick a weapon to go with my sweet new armor. Ooh, ha! nice choice. Not bad. Sweet. Payback hey, time. Oh, now, what should we do with all those other competitors who betrayed us? Well, Mevia, spending eternity in the quartz mines doesn't seem like punishment enough. <laughs> I have something special in mind for them. Hadrian, Mevia, this game just went into overtime. Well, isn't that cute? You found Tim's armor. Oh, well, isn't that just the sweetest thing, Hadrian? It's time for you to be eliminated! 
please. Not gonna happen, chump. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy crushing you. Ha! <laughs> Now, Bucko. Hey, Hadrian! Huh? Over here! You mess with one member of the Order of the Stone. You mess with all Go, of Jesse! us. Go, Jesse! I believe Time in you! Time to shut you up! You think this is going to help? You're deluded! Let's take him to the slab lab. I, uh, I, I'm, I'm still workshopping that one. Shut up. Let's go. I will personally see to it that you and your friends will forever suffer! Shut up! Just shut up! All of you, shut up! I see you don't like having a live audience, Adrian. Come on! Jesse! Remember Splee! Got it! Now, Mevia, we have to get out of here. Come on! Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, guys. How's it going? <laughs> it's going not the best, and you're not going anywhere. Yeah. Face Meat wants to discuss his benefits plan. Oh, hang on, hang on! Jesse, you did it! Again. Feels like I say that a lot. I couldn't have done anything without all of you. Well done, Jesse. An excellent job. Uh, thanks, Otto. You have truly shown my friends and I the error of our ways. I'm glad to put this whole messy business behind us. Start over. Man, do you need some new friends, you know that? Yes, I have come to that same conclusion, and I am working on it. I also know that the Atlas is not mine to keep. Ah! No! You have barely defeated them. Seems only fair that you get to decide their fate. And with the Atlas, you can send them anywhere you want. Hmm. You know, there was this game that Olivia and I used to play back in our treehouse. Huh? Remember? We called it, Which Would You Rather Fight? That's when I yanked Thomas Redstone heart right out. Hurrah! And the whole thing shut down. Man, you guys have had some crazy adventures. So many people trying to kill you. Goodbye, Jesse. Goodbye. Thank you. Is that all of them? Everyone that wants to go home anyhow. Except you folks, that is. I can't believe how many competitors actually want to stay and keep playing the games. Thanks to you, my intrepid new friend, I can actually work on making them fun again. Very exciting. It'll be more challenging just by myself, but a good challenge. And you promise they'll stay fun this time, right? Oh, yes. 
I don't intend to let the games get corrupted like they did before. And I'm gonna help too. You taught me a lot about fairness, Jesse. And I'd like to use that new knowledge for something good. Oh, and speaking of fairness, I think this is yours. Oh, man. There was some good stuff in there. I was really moved. Awesome. Huh. I guess he wasn't so immovable after all. Well, Em, how about you? You said you wanted to go home, right? Yes, I just can't decide if it's what I want. You get to leave and go on more adventures. Do I really want to go back to farming? I mean, it has been ages since I've seen it, and I miss my friends. Well, if you want, you can come with us. Oh, really? Like, really? Yeah, we could always use another awesome person, and well, you're pretty awesome. Ah, oh, Jesse! That's wonderful! Oh, thank you so much! Hey, Ivor. Oh, hello. What you doing? I was just observing Harper, all by herself, over there. She seems lonely. Come on. Hey, Harper. Oh, hey, Jesse, Ivor. I was just watching folks head on home. Things really worked out, huh? Well, I guess this is goodbye. I'm gonna head on back to Crown Mesa and see how the Post Palma construction is going. Just hope they'll take me back. It's not my real home, but it's the closest thing I've had for, well, a long time. We'll just go with that. Don't worry. I'm sure they'll come around. I sure hope you're right. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Getting over the I was a bad guy hump can be awkward, but hopefully soon they'll invite you right back into their lives. Right, Jesse? You are a strange, strange man, Ivor. But you know something? You're okay. Take care of each other, all right? And I'll see you around. Bye, Harper. Yes, goodbye. Come on. Let's go find the others. You're amazing. So, how do we get home now? Well, the Atlas belongs to Jesse now. Deal's a deal and all that. Sweet. Um, how does it work? Now you just say where you want to go, and the Atlas will show you the way. Why don't you just go ahead and open it? Okay, Book. Take us home. Whoa! Spectacular! Incredible. There it is. Home. I assume M told you that she's coming with? Yeah, she's already promised to show me that awesome spin move. It's not so great. Figure it's about time we get heading on home, huh? That sounds awesome. Yeah! Home, here we come. Jesse, look! Can you believe it? We made it! We're home! After all that time, all those portals, we're home! Yeah, and I couldn't have done it without you guys. You're the best team anyone could ever ask for. Aw, that's lovely. Ah, oh, you big sap. I'm just so glad we're all back together. That atlas is so cool. I'm glad Otto let you keep it. Fabulous, yes! And that's not all we got. Seriously? What else did you get? Yeah, show him, Jesse. 
The crown of the Eversource, the magical source of all of Sky City's precious materials. Whoa, wicked! The mask of Cassie Rose, a.k.a. the White Pumpkin. Oh man, that's even creepier looking than I imagined. Palma's Redstone Heart. I know that Palma was evil and everything, but I still kind of wish I could have seen it. The Portal Atlas. I could have lost all the rest so long as we got to keep that. Ha! Ah, I wonder what Soren would have thought of it. So much power contained within such a tiny Whoa. object. Easy there, Ivor. Mm. Sorry. The enchanted flint and steel. The one that started the whole thing. Yeah. None of these other adventures could have happened if it weren't for this. I can't believe you got to do all those incredible things. Makes sense, though. You were gone a long time. Wait till we show you all the improvements we've been making to town. Um, Jesse? What's up, Lucas? So, I've been writing stuff in here, you know? And, well, it's kind of become like a legitimate book. But there's just one problem. I still need to put what happened to you. You've, well, you've been the hero of this whole story. It wouldn't be right to end it without saying what happened to the hero. Just say, and she couldn't have done it without her friends. You know something? I really like that. There, done. Well, tell the next one anyway. I was thinking that maybe we could put it in here with the other treasures. I know it's not as cool as, like, a portal atlas or a redstone heart, but it did kind of become a book about our whole adventure. I thought it'd be nice to keep it here as a memento. That's a great idea, Lucas. It's perfect. Hang on. What is it? Wasn't that where the portal atlas was a minute ago? Yeah, that was definitely where you put it. Guys, flint and steel are missing too. And where's Ivor? <laughs> he must be headed for the portal network. Is that bad? What should we do? I mean, I guess he mostly knows what he's doing. That's all right. He went on just as epic a journey as the rest of us. If he wants to dive right back into the portal network, well, I think he's earned it by this point. So you think we should just let him go? Yeah, I do. Come on, guys. Let's go home. Unfortunate and unexpected turn of events, it appears we are in the land of zombies that are indeed the size of chickens. Zombies that are the size of chickens. That's right, Adrian. And it looks like they're dying to meet us. <laughs> Get it? Because they're undead and they're dead. Oh, never mind. Not your best work, Mevia. 